New at 10, new gruesome and disturbing details revealed in court documents involving the death of an El Paso girl allegedly murdered by her mother. And questions remain about why it took so long to make an arrest. It's a story ABC 7 has brought you all week, and the details may be difficult to hear. In those documents we just obtained today, investigators stated the mother and her boyfriend physically abused five-year-old Emily Ray Canales extensively, leading to her death in January. Now, this happened in Colorado Springs, where they moved after living in El Paso, and here are the suspects. Emily's mother, 27-year-old Brianne Escamilla, and her boyfriend, 26-year-old Matthew Urias, who is not Emily's father, both are charged with first-degree murder. Emily was not yet in school or daycare when she died. The documents state in mid-January, Escamilla told police she found her daughter unconscious in her room and tried to wake her up before calling 911. Emily was pronounced dead at a hospital. The coroner determined Emily died after suffering blunt force injuries from multiple incidents of abuse. Court documents state both Escamilla and Urias admitted to police they harmed Emily. Her injury list is long. Her autopsy report reveals she had wounds and bruises all over her body. There was a diagram showing all the injuries on her head, face, arms, shoulders, chest, back, legs, and feet. Our sister station in Colorado Springs, KRDO, spoke with the Department of Human Services in Colorado Springs. A spokeswoman said if a child isn't in school or daycare and Emily was not, there is no system in place to protect them from abusive parents, and it is up to members of the community to call authorities if they think a child is in danger. The children in our community are our most vulnerable. Um, we are tasked with uh, calling if we see something, but I would encourage folks to get to know your neighbors, get to know the people in your community. According to court documents, neighbors of the suspects told investigators they one time saw Emily outside in the cold weather. She told them her mom locked her out of the apartment. Neighbors also told police they would hear yelling and loud banging on the walls coming out of the apartment, and they would often see Emily with her hair completely shaved. Documents state Escamilla admitted to shaving her as punishment for misbehaving. The arrest of the suspects came nearly six months after Emily died on January 13th. Urias was arrested in late June, and U.S. Marshals took Escamilla into custody on Tuesday of this week. Both were arrested after the Colorado Medical Examiner officially ruled Emily's death a homicide. But that came in June, five months after her death. ABC7 has been working to find out why it took so long to rule the child's death a homicide. I spoke to a police spokeswoman in Colorado Springs today about the delay in the ruling and the arrests. It just took so many months. I'm just wondering why, why did it take so long though? Well, like I said, you would have to talk with the um, coroner's office about what took um, that amount of time for them to make the ruling that it was a homicide. Um, we're not going to uh, arrest uh, somebody and charge them with first degree murder if it hasn't actually been a homicide. And cause and determination is uh, made by the coroner's office. So ABC 7 called the coroner in Colorado Springs today, but had to leave a message and we have not received a call back as of this newscast. Emily's father, Manuel Canales, reached out to me back in March asking for help to pay to bring his daughter's remains back to El Paso. And now he's trying to pay for a headstone for his daughter's grave. He told me he had been trying for months to legally bring Emily back to El Paso from Colorado Springs and is devastated he couldn't do it in time to keep her safe. Her family is here in El Paso and, and um, you know, my, my mom and my dad and, you know, my sister. You know, they loved her, you know, like my family loved her. I mean, she was so good here. She was so good. You know, I don't understand how somebody could do that. I have to think about that. Like, I, my little baby was living in that, you know, day after day, you know, there's no telling how long it took, you know. Um. 
Our sister station in Colorado Springs reports Escamilla and Urias will be in court separately next week. If convicted on the first degree murder charges they face, they could both face life in prison.